Hi all, this is Island Code here. In the last tutorial, we went out to create a constructor in the film class. We've got a new constructor here uh, that allows you to create an instance of film without typing all this code. Just simply put it into a pair of, into a pair of brackets. We then wrote it to the console, and we've got film 2title equals aliens. In this tutorial, we're going to look at arrays. So if we head over to module one under our console application and go through how we're going to create a very simple array. If you type dim days seven, each individual item as a string. So dim days, open bracket seven, close bracket as string. What this means is that there's going to be a new array created called days with seven strings within it. So what we need to do is type days zero equal to the string mun, for instance. Repeat this for every day of the week. Days one equals two. Days two equals wed. I will copy and paste this into the description below if you want to copy and paste it in as well. Days 3 equals sir. Days 4 equals fry. Days 5 equals sat. Days 6 equals. Oh, Day six equals sun. So that's how it's laid out. It starts at zero, everything starts at zero in VB. And we've got seven items there, zero to six, inclusive of zero. So to see if that's actually worked, if we go to just below the day six and type what we've learned before in previous tutorials, console dot right line open bracket days open bracket and then the day number so for instance three close bracket and then close the bracket again what we're going to expect to see in there is days three so that's going to be thursday however it isn't going to run because we haven't set module one to be the startup uh, startup application so if we go to my project click startup object and select module one go back to our module one and click start. Now this is run but it hasn't stayed open. Reason for that I guess you've already figured it out. Console dot rekey open bracket close brackets. We run the application and you can see there thir day is three day is three is thir. And that's all very simple. If you want to put it into our film store context if we head over to our class one we want to create a if for each method. So if we comment out these two console lines, make a little bit of white space below. Code snippets, I haven't talked to you about them before. If you right click, insert snippet, code patterns, conditions and loops for each next statement that's what we're going to be looking at now so we want to write for each item as film in our new array called films which I've actually already typed without showing you guys how we've done that is created a new instance of films as a film, open bracket, close bracket, equal to a curly brace, film one and film two. So this is inserted film one and film two from above into a new array called films of class film. So to actually prove that that's worked, as I've inserted this question here, for each item as film in films, we want the console to write the line 
of each item in that array taking the title property and then to make sure the console stays open console.read key open bracket close brackets if we go into our project settings to make class 1 our startup object again go to class 1 and run it it's going to write the matrix out if we hit return it's then going to type out aliens item dot title throwing out the two titles of the films array film one film two in the next tutorial we're going to be looking at loops